Hi there, David here once more, coming to you on behalf of Be in Crypto. We've covered the topic of cryptocurrency mining on here before, and there's no denying it can be a complicated process. However, it doesn't always have to be. That's why today, we're going to take a look at some of the most popular and easiest to use cryptocurrency mining applications for both desktop and mobile devices. There's no shortage of mining software available out there for a wide variety of cryptocurrencies, but we're going to stick to offerings that are easy to install and use for just about anybody watching this video. Specifically, we'll be covering an overview of the type of mining software we're talking about today, a quick look at risks involved with these types of applications. We'll take a peek at a few of the most popular options for desktop and mobile, and we'll warn you about some dubious offerings. Ultimately, we'll let you know what we think is the simplest way to begin earning today and for free. So what are we wasting time for? Let's get into an overview of cryptocurrency mining applications. Let's begin by defining what it is we're talking about when we say crypto mining applications. As mentioned, there's tons of available software that allows for powerful PCs and mining rigs to mine crypto. However, much of it is, understandably, rather technical and geared towards those who are making a serious project out of the endeavor. That's all well and good, but what if you don't have the time for all of that? Maybe you have a decent computer and would like to use it to earn a few satoshis here and there, but you don't want to dedicate it to the cause 100% 24-7. That's where streamlined mining applications come into play. These are packages that automate most of the process behind the scenes. They'll often detect your hardware, configure themselves, and mine the most profitable projects for your setup and preferences. This means you can generally be up and running in just a few clicks. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, it is true, but like pretty much everything in crypto, there are definitely some catches you need to be aware of. We'll get into some specific pros and cons when we talk about each platform, but generally they come in two broad categories. One is that nothing is ever truly free. Even though the offerings today are all basically free to sign up for, there's always a trade-off. Some have fees that are taken out of your earnings. Hence, it seems free to you, but you'll make less crypto than you would have setting things up yourself. Others may truly be free of fees, but might have limitations on how much you can make or what you can do with it. The other risk here is the possibility of scams. Again, we'll touch on the legitimacy of a variety of platforms shortly, but it's safe to say that when you go searching for crypto mining apps, more than a few fake and dangerous results come up. Like with so much of the crypto world, you always have to do your homework, see what the community is saying, and ultimately be responsible for your own decisions. If something sounds too good to be true or is incredibly opaque about how it works, definitely proceed slowly and with caution. Okay, now that we've covered those basics, let's take a walk through some popular platforms that are aimed at streamlining the mining process for the masses. First, we're gonna take a look at some of the offerings on the desktop, and in a little bit, we'll turn to mobile options. So, in the realm of desktop applications, let's start off with Kudo Miner. Kudo Miner is a full mining suite that's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, which claims it can automate as much as 95% of the mining process for users, all without losing profitability. Other features it boasts include the ability to get up and running in just minutes, support for both CPU and GPU mining, as well as the ability to switch mining automatically between a variety of different coins, depending on which one is currently the most profitable. For those who know exactly what they want to mine, however, the coin of your choice can be specified. Kudo Miner is also compatible with mining several different assets, with some of the more popular ones being Ethereum, Bitcoin Gold, Ravencoin, and Monero. However, whatever you mine, payouts can be converted into Bitcoin, Ethereum, Algorand, or Monero. Despite being highly user-friendly, those who choose to do so still have the option to manually configure the settings to almost any type of rig they choose, even including large farms. This means Kudo Miner is hoping to appeal to newcomers, hobbyists, and serious professionals alike. That being said, there is a cost. There are, of course, fees involved with the service. Depending on how much your system mines, the fee structure scales from 1.5% to 6.5%, with the lower rates being applied to higher-end miners. Next up, let's talk about Cryptex. Cryptex is a Windows-only crypto miner that also strives to be valuable to both beginners and pros. What's nice is that Cryptex runs in the background of your PC, so you can still use it while it's mining, and users can receive payouts of as little as 50 cents. Also, these payouts can be in the form of cash, crypto, or even gift cards. The algorithm automatically mines whatever coin is most profitable, so you're guaranteed to get optimized returns. If you're more advanced, there's a version called Cryptex Pro that will offer you much greater control and the ability to hook up multiple mining rigs. So there are plenty of options here for users of all kinds. Lastly, let's mention NiceHash. NiceHash is more than just a cryptocurrency miner. It actually offers a range of services. However, what we're most concerned with today is the NiceHash miner and Quick Miner. The Quick Miner only supports NVIDIA GPUs, while the General Purpose Miner supports AMD GPUs as well. Both claim to offer better results than the competition, and this has often been reported on message boards. One potential downside is that these miners are only supported on Windows, which may be an issue for some users. 
Also know that NiceHashMiner works by using some third-party plugins and mining software, and the website itself acknowledges that this opens up a certain amount of risk involved in using the platform. If your hardware isn't really up to the mining task, NiceHash also offers a market for buying and selling hash power. This means it can be used as a cloud mining option as well, and in fact we've mentioned it before in our cloud mining video, which makes a great companion to this video, so be sure to go check it out if you haven't already. Now it's time to turn our attention to some mobile options. However, we should talk a little bit first about how mobile mining apps are generally different than their desktop counterparts. See, mobile devices just aren't inherently as powerful as most desktop computers, nor are they built in quite the same way. The desktop software we've just described is actually using your system to aid in the process of mining. But realistically, most mining applications on mobile really aren't mining at all. The services out there generally fall into one of three categories. Flat out scams, rewards programs that are just labeled as mining, or platforms for accessing cloud mining. Realistically, cloud mining is gonna be your best bet if you wanna use your phone as an interface. Generally, there are mobile applications for all the top cloud mining services available, so be sure to check those out if you feel that's the way you wanna go. Now, we don't wanna spend too much time focusing on scams, but we do wanna highlight a couple of questionable platforms so you know what to look out for. Specifically, Pi Network and B Network. We're grouping them together because B is basically a clone of Pi. From what we could find out, it sounds like these platforms don't do any actual mining, but rather reward users, in their own native tokens of course, for various levels of engagement. Interacting with content, contacting other users, and most notably bringing new users onto the platform are the most common ways to earn. This definitely sets off some Ponzi scheme alarms already, but there's another concern. The tokens that are being offered as payment, Pi and B tokens respectively, don't seem to have representation on any exchanges, nor are there any external wallets. So you cannot currently move them off of their platforms, and there's nowhere to sell them even if you could. This means they both have, if we're being polite, indeterminate value. Both platforms claim they're planning to expand and eventually see a much wider range of support in the cryptocurrency ecosystem, but we might submit to our viewers that they wait until that day comes, if it ever does, before they get involved. Great, with all of that out of the way, let's talk about a couple of options that really do offer returns and have proven themselves to the community to be legitimate. For one, there's Electronium. Electronium is a cryptocurrency that was built specifically for mobile applications and seeks to act as a highly accessible and efficient payment system. At one point, Electronium did offer mobile mining services, however, now the platform more resembles a crypto-fueled Fiverr, with users able to earn ETN tokens by completing a variety of digital tasks. Unlike simply bringing in more users, these are tangible jobs that can be created and bid on in a marketplace. Furthermore, the ETN token has been around for years, has an actual price, and is actively traded on a variety of known exchanges. So while the service no longer offers actual mining, in many ways the platform could end up more lucrative than many of the other products currently available for mobile. Lastly, we wanted to suggest a service that comes the closest to being a true mobile, simple crypto mining application. You've heard about it on here before, of course, and that is Stormgain. Stormgain's mobile app really does offer one-click cryptocurrency mining powered by cloud mining services behind the scenes. What's especially great is that the service is actually completely free for Stormgain customers. The system works alongside Stormgain's loyalty program, so having a higher level means even higher returns with their mining service, which encourages long-term use. Furthermore, all payouts can of course be used to trade on the Stormgain exchange for potentially further profits. All of this makes the Stormgain app one of the most straightforward and transparent mobile options available. Okay, that's a pretty good overview of some of the better, and not so great, mining applications out there. Because mining is such a complex world, there's always some trade-offs when looking for that one-click type service, but hopefully we've left you with some pretty good starting points as well as some good info on what to avoid. Of course, mining is an ever-evolving field, and you're going to want to keep up on all the latest developments. For that, come check us out at beingcrypto.com, where you'll find daily updates, analysis, and more. Also, don't forget about our other content right here on YouTube, such as interviews, educational videos, and our bi-weekly news show. And lastly, if trading is your thing, then come join our trading community on Telegram. We'll get access to the latest technical analysis from our top traders. As I always say, thanks to everybody watching, and we'll see you all right here again real soon.